my baby's crib. Uh-huh. Beautiful. <laughs> It'll look great in the uh, alley we'll be living in. This is three months' rent. What? It's not three... Look, don't you want the best for this kid? I know you're excited, but, Michael, we can't afford this. Our baby in this crib? Come on. That's a happy kid. <laughs> hey, I talked to Andy. He said he could throw some work my way. Construction? What about your art? No, 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 no. I'm not giving it up. I'm just going to take a break until you finish law school. Pass the bar. Get hired by some fancy-ass, high-paying law firm. <laughs> Somebody's got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to painting eventually. Meanwhile, you can support me and Walt in the manner to which we'll soon become accustomed. Walt, huh? I'd like to do that, you know? Name him after my dad. Walter. Walter Lloyd. Lloyd? Oh, all right. That's why you won't marry me. It's not that you think marriage is too prosaic. You just want him to have your last name. Hey, you want me to agree to Walter or what? You're not taking him. You're not taking my son. You can go if you want to, but Walt stays with me. I'm trying to have a discussion with you. No, you're not. You're talking about going to Amsterdam. Just you and him. How is that a discussion? It's an offer, Michael, and that's where the job is. You said you were happy. What, what about the legal clinic being a good fit? You, you said that. This is a huge opportunity. You know I've always wanted to do international law. Am I supposed to be happy for you over here for your huge opportunity? We've talked about taking some time apart. Look, baby, I thought that was... Hey, we said a, a lot of things. You said you wanted to live on a boat. <laughs> I still love you. You know I do, but I... Michael, we've been through so much in such a short time. Things... Hey, we got problems, right? That's what people have. You want to go to counseling? I'm down with that. Let's go. All right? Oh, man. You already took it, didn't you? The job. Yeah, I did. You haven't worked in months. Construction slows in the winter. I already told you I that. can provide for him. I'll give him everything he needs. Except for his dad. He's not going with you. So, no! You really want to argue with me about this? Hell yes! There are laws against this kind of thing. We are not married, Michael. I'm his mother, and I'm steadily employed. Who do you think the court's going to side with? This is not goodbye forever. I need some time. He's 21 months old. He doesn't use the phone. I I'll do all the talking. I just want him to hear my voice. I miss him. I know. Uh, let me call you back, okay? This isn't a good time. Honey, you gotta go. Shh, shh. It's Michael. Honey. I know. I mean, Who's that? Uh, let's talk tomorrow, okay? I'll call you tomorrow. What the hell is going on? Michael, listen. I've been seeing someone. What? Who? Does it make any difference? Who is it? Brian Porter. The guy who hired you. It wasn't like that before. So, so when you said you needed time to think about us, you, you were just lying. No, I did. No, and I realized I'm coming to Amsterdam. Michael, don't. It's over between us. I'm not coming for you. I'm coming for Walt. I'm getting my son back. Say hi, Walt. Hi, Walt. I'm. I'm. Hey, uh, <laughs> this is for you, man. He like bears. Yes, uh, sure. He's just really shy. Hey, little man. Well, 
I guess I can't call you that, I mean, because look how big you are. So, you and I, uh, we're not going to see each other for a while, though. Uh, but you are going to have a great life. <laughs> I know your mommy, she's going to take real good care of you. And Brian is going to take good care of you, too. But you know what? I just want you to know that no matter where you go, I... That your daddy... Yeah, your daddy, he loves you very, very much. And I always will. Always. Okay? I'm sorry. It's... No. It's okay. It's okay. Uh... I hey, hate here. Uh, uh... Just, uh, you know... You know, let him know it's from me sometime, okay? Brian Porter. Susan's Brian? Yeah. Can I come in? I do. I need to talk to you. Susan, know you're here, man? Susan died yesterday. Please. Um... She, uh, it <clears throat> turns out she had a, a blood disorder. She was only sick for about a week. I, I didn't know. I, uh, I hadn't talked to her in a while. And, sit down. Uh, and Walt? How's he, uh... Yeah, he's fine. He's, uh, he's back home with his nanny. What? I mean, he's fine. I mean, considering, you know. But you, you left him home after he just lost his mother? Before she died, S Susan, she told me she wanted you to have custody of Walton. She what? Well, I think she just thought, well, I mean, since you're his father. I haven't been his father in nine years. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the thing, see. Look, I love Susan very much. And I, I was honest with her from the beginning, but she, she wouldn't hear it. Hear what? That I... I didn't want to be a father, all right? I just don't know how. Hey, what the hell are you talking about, man? You adopted him. Yes, yes, I did. Because she wanted that, and I wanted her, and... Look. <clears throat> These are two tickets. It's one round trip, the other one way. Sydney to New York. The envelope has money in it for travel expenses. She didn't tell you... She wanted me to have custody of him. This is your idea. I'm a wreck right now, okay? Don't you well, want I'm supposed to give a damn about you? Hey, I just lost the woman I love, all right? I can't be his father. Now it's you not son my son. What the hell are you talking about? You're the only father he knows. It's more than that. Well, then what? There's just there's something about him. What the hell are you talking about, man? Sometimes when he's around, things happen. He's different somehow. 